Well, we've had a good camp to date. Uh, you know, unfortunately, after four or five days, you know, the players, you know, have sprained ankles and, you know, hamstrings, you know, things like that tighten up a little bit. Uh, so that's pretty typical of training camp. Uh, but there's been a big emphasis, you know, uh, on the defensive end in camp. And uh, I think if we could stay healthy through camp and um, you know, remain, you know, on track as a team, I think we would consider ourselves of having a good camp. Good deal. Um, evaluate this team, if you can, for us right now. Well, it's a little early, you know, to evaluate them. Certainly adding Derek Fisher is going to give us a big boost. You know, not so much in you know production on the floor, although I think he'll do that. But his leadership, um, you know, character on and off the court in the locker room is going to be a big plus for us. Last year we didn't really have that, so um, you know we've drafted a rookie that we're very pleased with uh, in Javaris uh, Crittenton. Uh, but you know, once again, he's a young player. Uh, Chris Mann will be back. He did not play at all last year, even though he was a part of the team. So the team is different. Um, but a lot of the faces will be familiar to our fans. How do you, How do you measure a good kid? What, what's the barometer? Is there one? Well, a good camp, you know, is a camp that you feel is structured and, and well run. Um, certainly you don't want injuries. You know, a camp can be ruined, you know, with a, a key injury or two. So the key is to have a, a, good, a good camp in terms of structure, um, you know, focus from our coaches and players, conditioning, because uh, it is about getting ready for the regular season. And then, you know, once again, stay healthy. How do you like uh, having training camp in Hawaii? Do you like it? What are, you, what are the uh, pros and cons of it? Well, I think the good thing is that um, you know, our fans, we, we, we like to consider uh, Honolulu and Hawaii an extension of our fan base. So we are very welcomed here in Hawaii, and that's a comfortable feeling. Um, but that's the key, you know, is that these people, we think they're our fans. Uh, logistically, it's tough to move a camp. Um, you know, you have to use different weight rooms, you know, training rooms, training tables. So we prefer to be in our facility back in El Segundo. Uh, in terms of having a, a camp that, uh, you know, is in a familiar atmosphere. Uh, but once we're here, it seems to run well. Thanks, Mitch. One last question. How do the new players look, the rookies, the, the t uh, players that are trying to make a spot on the team? How are they? Well, Ronnie Lester, who's the assistant general manager, and I were just talking about 15 minutes ago. And all the players that are here deserve to be here. You know, every now and then you get a player that kind of sticks out and, you know, you know he doesn't belong here and you look to make an early cut. Um, but that's not the case. We have 18 players, and all the players, you know, deserve to be here. Uh, certainly, you know, we pay close attention. Uh, certainly, we, we pay close attention to our draft choice, uh, Javaris, and then we signed Kobe Carl during the summer. So you watch those guys a little bit closer. Uh, but the other three players, uh, Andrea Patterson, uh, Elton uh, Brown, um, and Larry Turner have all done well.